I mean, there, there are a lot of people travelling on motorcycle. There's quite a big community. Um, there's a community called Horizons Unlimited. That have uh, it's a website, horizonsunlimited.com. They have um, a lot of information about how to travel with motorcycle. It was started by a couple who did a, a ten year or so trip um, around the world and, um, and just know a lot about it and know a lot about the community. But also, uh, we went to one of their meetings. They hold annual meetings in all over the world, different, different places, kind of conferences you have. To, like a long weekend. Yeah, and they, the different presenters come up and talk about their travels and motorcycles. Uh, one of the presenters we saw while we were still back in Australia was a couple of people we got there, Simon and Lisa, and they um, were really inspirational for us. They've been on the road at that point, it's just reaching 10 years. We've actually seen them twice since, and they're up to 14 years um, yeah. on the road. So, uh, and they're just, they're really humble and, um, and very friendly, very friendly, and very uh, willing to provide lots of information. But they have amazing photographs. Yeah. You look at their photographs and you think, I want to do that. And somehow, some part of you thinks, I can do that. <laughs> so. And we actually, just before we entered into um, Africa in, in Portugal, we ran into them again and we actually saw one of their presentations. But we got to spend a lot more time with them. Um, and uh, that again was another big inspirational yeah. boost for us. Yeah. It was good timing just before we headed into Africa to, to see their presentation again and, um, and lift us up again. So yeah, yeah. They, they were our main, or they were one of our, our main inspirations. inspirations. Yeah. Yeah. Now, all in all, would you say you're a lot better um, as individuals after all of these years traveling? Do you think it has enriched you in any way? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. I think we live in a bit of a bubble in Australia where we have everything whenever we want it and life is so easy. Um, nobody appreciates it. Uh, people complain about the smallest things and, um, and I think also from what I've seen from travelling is that we've lost the importance of family. And it's lovely to see in countries like in Africa and um, so in South America how families have stayed together and how important family is. Uh, so I, I, I know I've certainly learned a lot about myself and how I can be a better person and a better woman, a better part of my community when I go home. Right. Thank you to you both for yeah. talking with me. <laughs> thank you. My pleasure, thank you.